Hello, you are welcome. Here, yeah, how to solve this nice algebra problem. And then uh, from here, we have 8 raised to power x plus 27 raised to power x divided by 12 raised to power x plus 18 raised to power x equals to 7 over 6. Of course, the value of x is expected to be a real number. Now, here, let's write this as 2 raised to power 3. 10 raised to power x plus here we can write this as 3 raised to power 3 then raised to power x then divided by also here we can write 12 as 2 square times 3 that's 4 times 3 then raised to power x then plus here as well we can write 18 as 2 times 3 square then raised to power x equals to 7 over 6. Then in the next step, we apply the law of indices here. Since this power can be interchanged, then we can write this as 2 raised to power x, then raised to power 3, plus here we can write this as 3 raised to power x, raised to power 3, then divided by also from here, this power of x, we affect these two numbers. Then here we become 2 raised to power x. Then raised to power 2 times 3 raised to power x. Then plus, here we have it as 2 raised to power x times 3 raised to power x. Then raised to power 2, which is equal to 7 over 6 from here. Then we have 2 raised to power x and 3 raised to power x common. So we can use a letter for that. Let u now be equal to 2 raised to power x and let v be equal to 3 raised to power x. Then from here we can write this as u raised to power 3 plus v raised to power 3 divided by here we have u square times v that's u square v plus here we have u then v square which is equal to 7 over 6 from here then in the next step we have sum of two keep from here then we can See from here we are going to have u plus v then multiply by u square minus u v plus v square then divided by from here we can factor u v out then what is left here is u then plus what is left here is v which is equal to 7 over 6 then from here we have u plus v we cancel out then we are left with u square minus u v plus v square over u v equals to 7 over 6 then when we cross multiply from here then this will become 6 u square minus 6 u v plus 6 v square equals to 7 u v of course we can take 7 u v here become minus so we have minus 6 u v minus 7 u v that will be minus 13 so this will give us 6 u square minus 13 u v plus 6 v square equals to 0 then when we multiply 6 and 6 here that's 36 so the factors of uh, 36 that will give us minus 13 is uh, minus 9 then minus 4 so this will be now be written as 6 u square minus 9 u v then minus 4 u v plus 6 v square which is equal to 0 then when we factor here what is common we have 3 u out here we are left with 2u here then minus 3v here then 
what is common here is minus 2v then what is left here is 2u then minus 3v here left here equals to 0 then from here we have 2u minus 3v common so 2u minus 3v will then be multiplied by 3u minus 2v which is equals to 0 then from here we have two possible cases then we have 2u minus 3v equal to 0 or we have 3u minus 2v equals to 0 then from here we can say 2u now is equals to 3v and from this side we have 3u equals to 2v then we can separate 3 on that 2 here when we divide by you know, 3 and also divide by u so we can say we have 2 over 3 here we then be equals to v over u now same thing on this side when we divide by 2 bring 2 under here take u under there so we have 3 over 2 equals to v over u then from here we represented v as 3 raised to power x and u as 2 raised to power x it means we can write it as 3 over 2 then or raised to power x which is now equals to 2 over 3 from here then on this other side as well we have 3 over 2 now equals to 3 over 2 raised to power x now very easy from here we can see we have same base this same thing as 2 power 1 now so we can say from here x equals to 1 and on this side we have just when we flip this one inside here we are going to have 2 over 3 so and when we change this that is the reciprocal we now be negative power here so we can say 2 over 3 now since we have flipped this now we are going to have negative power here which is equal to 2 over 3 then this is to power 1 the base are equal so from here we have 1 equals to minus x multiply through by minus this change to positive we can say x equals to minus 1 so here the value of x are minus 1 and uh, 1 so we can say that x is a member of 1 minus 1 then comma 1 from here and we have come to the end of this problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos also you can turn your notification bell on share this video give it thumbs up put your comment in the comment section see you in the next class then bye for now